Hello. We will learn about continual service improvement in this video. Purpose of continual service improvement is to align IT services with changing business needs by identifying and implementing improvements to IT services and processes that support the business. Improve effectiveness, efficiency and economics of all processes associated with delivering services. Objectives of continual service improvement are to review, analyze, prioritize and make the recommendations on improvement and opportunities in each life cycle stage. Review and analyze service level achievement. Identify and implement specific activities to improve IT service quality and improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the enabling processes. Scope of continual service improvement are overall health of ITSM. It takes care of entire ITSM as well as all dependent services. Continual alignment of the service portfolio with business needs. After implementing and operating processes, CSI helps maturing the processes. Continual improvement of all aspects of IT service and service assets that support them. Let's look at few important aspects of CSI. CSI Register CSI Register records all the improvement opportunities and that each one should be categorized into small, medium or large undertakings. The CSI Register contains important information for the overall service provider and should be held and regarded as part of the Service Knowledge Management System SKMS. It introduces a structure and visibility to CSI ensuring that all initiatives are captured and recorded and benefits realized. It provides a coordinated, consistent view of the potentially numerous improvement activities. The CSI manager should have accountability and responsibility for the production and maintenance of the CSI register. Service measurement. The ability to predict and report service performance against targets of an end-to-end -end service is known as service measurement. It requires someone to take the individual measurements and combine them to provide a view of the customer experience. This data can be analyzed over a period of time to produce a trend and can be collected at multiple levels. Types of metrics Technology metrics Typically components and applications For example Performance Availability Process metrics Critical success factors, CSFs, key performance indicators, KPIs, activity metrics for its processes Service metrics End-to-end -end service metrics Often service metrics are a sum of process and technology metrics. Measurement and metrics consists of 1. Critical success factors 2. Key performance indicators 3. Baselines Here is an example. CSF is, the cost of providing services is reduced. KPI is, percentage decrease in overall cost of service provision. For example, 2.5% reduction in the average cost of handling an incident. Thanks for watching this video, and hope it is helpful. If you like this video please hit the like, and subscribe for more knowledge sharing videos.